the fuck you doing up here? Help goes into the back. I'm, uh, I'm here to see Mr. Marcano. The name's Lincoln Clay. That a fact? I'll be goddamned. Mind your manners while you're in there, boy. Or they'll hell to pay you here. Let those fucking gooks shit themselves when they saw you coming. Been a long time, Georgie. Oh, no shit has been a long time. I think the last time I saw you was that night over in the French ward, right before you shipped out. <laughs> Damn, if that wasn't a gas. Oh, I seem to remember me and Ellis running from the cops, uh, and Danny ending up in the drunk tank. Hell, man, I bailed him out. Besides, it was worth it to knock the hell out of them cracker assholes. <laughs> Smoke? Sure. <laughs> oh, man. Sammy said Mr. Marcano wanted to see me. Mr. Marcano? Shit. Make him sound like a goddamn lawyer. You just call him Sal. Come on, he's in the back. <laughs> that should have worn something else. Hey, these squares have a problem with Joe Trez. You can take it up with my old man. He'll tell him to kiss his ass. Nice thing about having fuck you money. Olivia, I hate to cut this short, darling, but I've got a meeting coming up. Remy, a pleasure as always, sir. Two more glasses. <laughs> Lincoln, good to see you. This is Vito Scaletta. He's the one I've been telling you about. Come on, Lincoln, sit down. So you served in Vietnam, huh? Yes, sir. Sal tells me, uh, you earned a few pieces of tin over there. Well, I served with some good men. Nothing I did would happen without them. Army? Marines? Regular army at first, and then I was recruited to the 5th SFG. Special Forces. I told you it was something else. Now, not that anything's gonna go wrong, but just in case, goddamn, don't you want a man like that on your side? Well, if you're vouching for him, Sal, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Look, I got a couple things to take care of. Thanks for the drink. Christ, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> Fucking carpetbagger. Commission sent him down here from Empire Bay about 15 years back. He's been a pain in my goddamn ass ever since. Well, I guess you're wondering what this is all about. Yeah, Sammy didn't tell me too much. Twice a year, the feds take old money out of circulation and destroy it. Over the course of the next few days, that money's gonna be delivered here to the reserve in town. And you're gonna hit one of those shipments? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. We are gonna use that occasion to gain access to their vault. And then steal everything that ain't nailed down. <laughs> Should be six, seven million in there? Easy. You got so long. Piece of shit drill kept overheating. You and Lincoln both still in one piece? Yeah, we good. Where's Danny? He's pushing everything off to the side so that we have room to catch the money. All right, well, once we square the way up here, we start dropping it down. We'll make it quick. Motherfuckers killed the lights. Just worry about the money. I'll deal with this. How'd he slip out of here? 
Keep looking. We'll find him. No sign here. Let's check over there. They ain't hide and seek with us. I say we keep looking. No sign here. Let's check over there. He's... We gotta box him in! How'd he slip out of here? See, well, this is disappointing. Trying to flush us out. Stay focused on what you're doing. That's almighty. What the hell's happening? Lock this place down. Look for cover. I'm right here, asshole. God damn it, those guards will cut us down the second we make a break for it. Tell Danny he needs to get us out of here. And these bastards got us pinned down. Y'all need to figure something out. I got some TNT. I'll put on our side of the hole and detonate it. What the fuck is that gonna accomplish? With any luck, it'll blow a hole big enough for y'all to drop down. With any luck, Danny, do you even know what the fuck you're doing? Come on, it's dynamite. How complicated could it be? It's lit. Get the fuck away from the hole. I'm trying. Danny's leg is pinned. I need your help. No one really knows why Sal Marcano turned on Thomas Burke, uh, but he took Point Verdun from him and gave it to an enforcer named Roman the Butcher Barbieri, who promptly busted up one of Burke's legs. Now, Danny Burke was part of the heist crew. I mean, he was a gearhead, had never done anything like this before, but Thomas Burke insisted. He figured if the heist was a success, Sal would forgive him and return point for done. Ah, oh, you're a penetrator, all right. <laughs> hey. Now, I heard there ain't nothing sweeter than Vietnamese pussy. You tell me it's true. 
Casanova Clay. Shit, man, it's so fucking good to see you. You too, Danny. That's Nikki. God, she wanted to be here, but I ain't remember how old I was. God damn, you piece of shit! Yeah, unfortunately. Come on, let's grab a beer. Wait for the old man to chill out, and then we can get down to it. Yeah. What's up, man? You already got it all set up and organized. All the girls gonna be there and everything, except we just gotta go in my cars, because we can't roll up in that beat-up piece of shit outside. Oh, you didn't just call my all-American machine a beater. I'm just saying, there better rides out there. Hey, bullshit there are. This car's a beast. I dropped the custom 358 in before we shipped out. That ain't the only thing you dropped in there. Maybe you should tell them about how you'd borrow it from Ellis and take the ladies for a ride. <laughs> Hell, man, leave me out of this. Wait, did you fuck in my car? Mm -hmm. nah, it ain't no big deal. I was always wrapped up tight. <laughs> Besides, I already got one fucking bass in my life. I don't need another one. All right, you know what? You're going to clean it. Not just the back oh. seat. Every square inch. <laughs> I don't need to be riding around sitting in your shit. Hey, and you, funny man. You